Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Powers, I'm one of the pediatricians here at Southern Med Pediatrics, the Northeast location. So RSV, which I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with, um, fancy name is the Respiratory Syncytial Virus, and what it's most known for is causing pretty nasty upper airway and lower airway respiratory infections. Um, in all ages, but predominantly in younger children, um, as well as super, super old adults, but for our sake, younger children. So you get RSV infection predominantly through direct contact. So that's why it's really important to make sure you're always washing your hands um, during the RSV season. Now RSV peaks between, the summer, uh, between October and April. Um, in the time of the year, or the January and February being the most common times. So making sure that you're keeping everything clean around the house, washing your hands really, really good, that's the most important way to make sure that RSV does not spread around the home. Um, it has been known to spread through air um, as well, so coughing and sneezing, but the most common way is through direct contact. So RSV is treated mostly through supportive care. Um, which is kind of a frustrating way to treat it, to be honest with you, because of how long it can last. Um, in duration, we see it lasts roughly about a week, with days four and five being the worst days of the infection. That's when you're coughing and sneezing, and particularly how hard the patient is breathing is at its peak. Um, we treat it through making sure that you section out the nose really, really good in those young children under the age of one, um, using nasal saline spray to make sure that the snot and the mucus stays as loose as, as possible so it's easier to section it out. Some children do need to be put into the hospital just to watch, watch a little bit closer. And there you may hear a few things. Um, they may get, get some breathing treatments um, to help with wheezing or the work of breathing um, in addition to the deep suctioning. Um, there's been questions of whether or not some steroids or things like that may be helpful. Um, if a child does have asthma or other lung uh, conditions, then sometimes those things can be used. But in the normal, overall healthy child, just supportive care with suctioning and saline drops is the way to, to manage RSV. You can um, be reinfected with RSV during the same season. Um, if, there, if you are reinfected, that second infection usually is not as severe as the first. Um, and if you are infected one season, you can still become infected um, the next season. So unfortunately, it is something that can come again. So RSV is incredible, incredibly, incredibly common. And we're always here if you need us. The time to make sure that you bring your child in to see the pediatrician is when they're really showing increased effort of breathing. So if um, your child is really working really, really hard to breathe and you're worried that they're going to become dehydrated because they're not able to eat due to how hard they're having to work to breathe, or if they're just becoming so tired because of how long they've had to breathe that quickly, that's when we would love to see your child and make sure that everything is okay. Other children that could be at higher risk because of RSV infection are those children that are born prematurely or have heart conditions or certain lung conditions that they've had to deal with early in their childhood. Um, and we'd love to see those children early on just to make sure that going forward, uh, they're in a safe position not to have to be hospitalized or anything else.